Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today we're going to talk through about trim tabs, and more particularly zip weight. You've heard me talk about it a lot, because all of our yellow fins and our bay, bigger bay sports come with zip weight, and I rave about them, because I actually think they're a game changer. Well, I actually know they're a game changer, because technology now is awesome. For all you people that have got a car that you put cruise control and it just parks itself and the cruise control just keeps the distance from the car and goes crazy when you run off the road. And you know, you've seen my drones. But in 2014-15, Intel made new uh, processors. And so in the old days, drones, when you let go of them, they just fall to the ground. Now they just hover. So it makes everything easy. And that's how we do all our drone videos. Well, zip weight. Made in Sweden. And what they do is, those Swedish people, they're clever. They came up with it, because most people can't use trim tabs. Why they can't use them? Because when it's a manual and you come down, the boat's coming along and imagine this is the boat and you've got a plate at the back or a fin. There's two types of trim tabs. One's either got a big plate that comes down and one's got a blade that comes down. Now we don't need to worry about that. Zip weights have got a blade. But what happens is the boat's coming along, blade comes down, that lifts that side and you compensate for it. So we put a couple of big blokes in the boat that cast a big shadow and the boat's leaning over and you've probably seen that. So you drop that blade on that side and it lifts it up. Beautiful. Now you turn around or the wind changes and it actually makes it worse. And you've probably all been in a boat where someone lunatics playing around with trim tabs and the boat's moving all over the place and it can be dangerous. Make no mistake, you come up into a, you know, in a following sea or you're behind a big boat and you hit it on an angle, quartering, and all of a sudden the boat looks like it's rolled. And I've actually seen a, a boat roll doing that. It was a cat, great big cat too, out off Noosa. Had to go and save him. Ruined me fishing trip, didn't catch a thing. But we saved those people and that was fine. So I'm going to show you zip weights because I just love them. And they're expensive, right? But you pay for what you get. And on quality boats like this 705 Bay Sport and all of our yellow fin range, we put zip weights. And today what I've done is, I've got, I've got uh, Jeff and Darren out here from AMI. AMI is a massive, big marine accessories distributor. And they're the Australian distributor of zip weight. Lucky. I don't know how they got it. I wish I had got it. I would have started a new business because I reckon it's going to be massive. Now, before I introduce you to Darren, let's have a look here because there's something that I really love about these zip weights. And what I want to show you is that the zip weights, the way we set them up at Brisbane Yamaha, will just turn on with the ignition. And you can see, gee, the other day I did a, a 6YC gauge and I told you how fast the processor in those. They, that gauge, I tell you, they're the quickest gauge. Well, we know they're the best gauge in Australia. And now we've got zip weight. Now, we've got the camera on the zip weight. What, what the zip weight's doing is picking up the GPS, because the zip weight is incredibly clever. Now, I can't believe the Swiss did it, the Swedish people did it, and the Japanese didn't. But basically what it's got is, it's got a GPS in it, it's got a gyro. The gyro knows for the roll. And then it's got an accelerometer in it. Accelerometer. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I, I do that quite a lot. And that's for the pitch. And the pitch is from the front to the back. And what happens is with these zip weights, you map them. So you set up in it initially when you buy one, and I'm gonna get Jeff to show you what you do. You, you set it up and you put in the length and the width and the, the, the boat, and then you, you have it so when it gets on the plane, it makes it easier. And then what happens is you can save it. At Brisbane Yamaha, what we do, we've got a USB, we test all our boats, we go over it, and then we load the settings in so you don't have to. Wonderful, wonderful. But the reality is, in that time I've been talking, hopefully you can see auto pitch, auto roll. Now, if I don't want auto, and you know, let's say I'm doing a bar crush it, crossing, and I just wanted to set it and have manual. Well, by simply holding down the button, off goes both of them, and now I'm manual. Now, and in manual, if I want to do the roll, if I want the, if I want the port side to, to lift, I'd roll down and starboard side, and if I want the bow to come up, I wind a wheel. Everything's very easy, and if you freak out, just hold that down and go auto on both. And I tell you, 
that's what makes it a game changer. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to show you what happens with the boat and how it uses, we're going to put the drone in. But also what we're going to do, I'm going to have Jeff from AMI just show you how you'd set it up and some of the functions that this thing can do. Hello Jeff. How are you mate? Jeff's one of the head guys in Queensland for AMI, who's the distributor of Zipway. You must have been pretty happy when you picked up Zipway. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think I think you're on a gold mine here, Jeff. Yeah. I think that uh, anyone buying, everyone I know that's gone in a boat that's got zip weights and don't have them on their own boat goes and buys a zip weight. Definitely. Is there anything on the market that's got accelerometers, that's got uh, all these gyros, and has got the smarts of a zip weight? There's options on the market, but straight out of the box, plug and play, zip weight's what you want. I'd never seen anything like it, you know, and the first time I used it on a yellow fin, it was an absolute game changer because I had a new guy in it and he was driving the boat, he didn't have a single clue, and he made the boat look like it was awesome. And it really, it came down to just the zip weights. It takes the guesswork out. Now, Jeff, for someone, you know, for Tellwater and for Baysport, we have them mapped. But let's say someone come into one of our chandleries and they wanted to put zip weights on a boat, and we hadn't seen that boat before. So show me here on the controls, Jeff. Just lean over here. You've got the, the, the camera here. So what do you do? I'm just, I'll push menu and it comes up. So I'd imagine run through those quickly. System information. Yep. So system info is basically the Zipwake's info itself. In here, you'll find the basic info on the bridge control panel, which is this one here, as well as how many interceptors you've got on the back of your boat. So okay, you never have to look at it. You never don't have to really do need that. it. No. Now go down to auto setup because that is something that people would use. Yeah, definitely. So auto setup is pretty well straightforward. So speed over ground, getting you out of the hole onto the plane quicker. We use the pitch curve. Now the pitch curve is generated here by entering your boat data down the bottom. So you've got boat length, boat beam, boat weight. From that the cheeky little brains of the Zipway calibrates this pitch curve, which is fully editable. You can go through and map it to however you want. Now, and this is interesting because the 705 has got a very low planing speed. Mm -hmm. So what happens here up to six knot, yep. there's actually, you can see here, there's nothing on the trim tab. And then a little bit of the blade would come down, or what's that, 25%? Yeah, so you've basically got at, what was that, seven knots we've got, 50% extension. And what's that doing? That is basically pulling you out of the hole keeping you very flat with minimal bow rise. And then as you're on the plane, backs off to a point where it's purely just helping with your list control. Now, and I noticed, Jeff, that we actually left trim. You know, we put four blades of trim on it. Yep. And Jeff said, take off. And I said, hold on, I'll trim it down. Because as a rule, I always put the boat, the motor down. And everyone's always taught that, put the motor down, take off. That's where it's strong and stable and, and up on the plane. Well, with this, with the, the zip weights, I actually talked me into having four bars of trim and the boat came up flat, it sat and it came out and I didn't have to touch the trim either. Yeah, yeah. So is that, is that what it does? Exactly, yeah. You, so you that's want what we people want with this not to trim the, the motor in when you take off. Yep. So if you're leaving it mid trim, yep. your prop push is going straight out the back. Yep. It's going to do it all for you. It's going to get you out of the hole and that's purely what that pitch curve is going to do. It's going to extend those blades, get your bum out of the water and keep you nice and flat on the plane. And you can see that curve that, and, and don't worry when you buy one of our boats, we've all set this up. You don't have to do anything. Now keep going back, go back and show us what you do. So the rest of the uh, menus is interceptor setup, which is, that's just a little testing station there. Display is basically your screen brightness and all that sort of jazz. Hit on it, hit on it, show us, because they like to see it. So that's brightness that we're at 100 because I'm deaf, and, and then you've got display mode, yeah, auto. so auto, basically, day or night. There's a little sensor in here, which basically is your light sensor. Yep. Uh, if it does get too dark, it'll switch the screen to red. So that's day or night, and it's on auto. So Correct. as soon as it gets dark, up the come. So this you'll is, see. So th this is what you need. What about all those sounders that don't work? when it's dark, or some, well, some kid mucks around and puts it on night time and now you can't find the settings. Yep. I tell you, that's happened to me heaps. People muck around in the yard with it. What else have we got here? In here we've got the reset pitch and roll, which is basically setting your zero point. So the idea and the best thing you can do with zip wake is initial setup. So entering your boat data correctly, entering your zero point correctly, is gonna basically improve the system's potential. So the processor in here is actually, you put in the length, the width, what else was there? Uh, the weight. The weight. Yep. And this is all working that out. Yep. So it gives you a rough curvature, to yep. which then you can go and edit. And now you were at the, the mapping, that curve that we had, and that's how the boat gets up. Other than that, 
Right, let's go back. Go back to the... the look at... What do I can't work out? Jeffrey's been here, and you, you know I've used him before, but all I ever do with zip weight, I've been on lots of conferences and things, is push auto, and I'm happy with that. That's all I've ever used and of all I've wanted to do. And because it's simple. And I think everything in technology now needs to be simple. And if I'm out there in the water and the, it's at night, we're fishing, we're coming back, I don't want to complicate anything. I want it easy, I want to enjoy myself. Just like these Garmin sounders, you know, you should pick up Garmin too at AMI, they're awesome. Now, have a look here, so the auto. Now in auto, what you can have is auto pitch and manual roll. Why would you want auto pitch, manual roll? Auto pitch is always going to get your nose up and down and get you back to that zero point. Auto roll, like I said, the most of the time we want to keep it in auto auto. It's going to right. do most of it. And then to put auto auto, we just hold the buttons down. Yeah. And there you can see across the top, auto auto. And every other setting, everything you've done just gets, gets uh, ignored. And then the boat is just going to work off its smarts with the accelerometer. Say it. Accelerometer. Accelerometer. I can't say it. I'm tongue tied. Maybe because I've got earring aids. And what, and then it's got a gyro in it, and and GPS. So they've got to pick up the GPS. But as a rule, out in the ocean, they always pick up GPS. If you're in tunnels or driving a boat, well, it's not going to work very good at all. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to put the drone up, and we're going to talk, and we're going to show you what this zip weight actually does to the boat. It's fantastic. And if you've got a boat that you're having trouble levelling out, or you've got a heap of mates that cast a huge shadow and they keep moving around when you go out fishing, this is the goods. So, what I've got is I've got the boat started, the drone's off on our starboard side there looking. Now what I've done is I've put it on four bars of trim. Now I'd never normally take off and I've got the trim, the, and I've got the zip weights disconnected. Right? Now, Dan, now watch. So I'll take off. Right, the nose comes up. Now it's gonna flatten out because it's a baseboard. And that's fine, right? But you saw that nose come right up in the air and we're leaning to one side. Can you see that? Because, you know, Jeffrey and Darren, Jeffrey looks young, but he's got a bit of put on him. You know? Now I'll turn around. Now keep that drone on us, Dan. So I turn around, you see baseboard. So that's with four bars of trim. And you see, that didn't even let loose. Look how tight that is in that turn. Wonderful. Now, we're going to come back so that it's the same direction, so none of you people say, oh, what's happened here? You know, you've rigged it, Aaron, you made it look... No, I never rig it. Sometimes I might make a mistake, but I can tell you, I've never rigged anything. I'll show you exactly how it is. Because that's what I like to see. Because that's what I'd want to see. Okay, so now we've got the drone. And what I'm going to do... I'm just going to hold that auto in and I get auto roll, auto pitch. I haven't touched the trim, right? So the trim's still on four. Are we off the side again the same, Dan? Okay. Now, you ready, Dan? Ready. Now we take off. Now we come up. The nose doesn't go in the air. We're scooting along. I'm trying to do the same. I should have got the speed. We come up and look at this boat. It's noticeably, and I'll move it around, it's noticeably. Now, Darren, if you want, move around. Look at this, it's sitting flatter. The weight's not turning it. It's sticking in, Jesus, still an awesome boat turning that in it. Look at that. We'll put a bit more speed on it, whip around. Fun boat. And with zip weights, it's even more fun because even an idiot like me can't stuff it up. Now, let's have a look at that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back down here and I'm gonna get rid of all the trip. Now all, all of you blokes that go, you don't take a boat off with any trim. Well, and I was one of you. I can tell you, I'd never do it. And without zip weights, there's just no way would I ever do it. Nose in the air, porpoising around, looking like an idiot. Okay, so what I've done is, I've turned the, I've put it on manual, but I've got no setting on the zip weight. I've put the trim right down. Are you ready? Ready, Dan? I take off again, I'll try, oh, caught us. I had a bit of trim, oh, the motor turned. I put a bit on it. Right, nose came up a bit, roared out. You gotta love them Yamahas, don't you? Listen to that, hey? Darren's always, Darren worked for a, uh, a Merc yard and a Suzuki yard. He sat in here with a Yamaha, he said, oh my God, listen to that thing, you can't even hear it. It's not even making a knock like a Suzuki or a, a crazy crunching sound like those Mercury's, you know? You know, lots of people, I sell lots of Mercury's and second hand and, Suzuki's too, but they're not Yamaha's. There you 
All I'm going to do is I'm just going to push full auto, give it a bit of trim, up it comes, a bit of chop there. See that? Nose level. Nose was much lower and it's in. Look at that, you know? Have a look at that. This is a pretty awesome boat, isn't it? You know, and an awesome motor. Woo! You'd have a lot of fun just driving this thing around. I think Jeffrey wants to get his hands on it. I don't know Darren does. I've just doubted him for being a Black Anchor fan, you know? Maybe after he gets in some Yamaha, he won't be. Maybe it's like the donkey that ate thistles. They didn't know any better. I never thought about that. All you Mercury people that want to come on a free water test and see what a Yamaha really is, I'll run you, you you'd still buy a Mercury, but you come to one of my yards and I'll put you in a Yamaha, just so you know. What about that? That's a good offer. That's Jeff's right. coming down too, he wants to buy one. He just hit me up for a cheap F60. I've got them on special. Okay, now, you can see there's chalk and cheese. Really, Jeffrey, you know, when the auto's on, it's just fantastic. Now, this is interesting. We've got, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 K kilos of man candy in the back, all on one side. Now, and I, I could turn that wheel and lift it, but it's flat. Now, I'll turn around, I'll see if I can get these guys, get a bit of sunshine into them and a bit of water onto them. I've got people fishing, they'll be hating on me, you know, but they'll, then they won't, they'll go, oh, that's Aaron. I'll go and hit him up for a cheap outboard. Now, you two all work to the other side. Let's see how fast this thing does. Okay, it leaned, it's still leaning, and now it comes over. And we're level. And we're going, and that's with three, well, 200 kilos moving. Oh, I'm in it too. We've got 400 kilos. That's a lot of weight to put in a, in a seven meter boat on one side. Now work to the other side, please, fellas. And it leans and then it quickly, and if I was going faster, it would stop it. Now, there's also, Jeffrey, come up here. Where's that dial that does the speed of the change? So that here is your outer wheel. That's your auto roll level. Now that's auto roll, and it's just on the outside ring, and if I put that up to 10, now, Danny, you still, you two back there. Don't come up here with me, Jeffrey. <laughs> this is where, Jeffrey hasn't worked here. This isn't a democracy, it's a kingdom. And Dan's the king. Dan's married to a Polynesian princess. Drop dead gorgeous she is. Now, now we're getting along, you got us Dan? Okay, Dan says he's got us. Now you two fatties, walk around. Now because I upped the speed of it, there it is, just moves. Walk around, walk on the other side. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, now it's off. Now what we're going to do, so you can see the nose comes up as I get on the plane. I'll turn around and try not to squirt down. There's a bit of flotsam and jetsam in there. I always get forget which flotsam and what's jetsam. I just like saying it half the time. There, there's a couple of people, I always like mixing up my words. It drives people insane and I, we all laugh as they complain and write us stories. Now, okay, you two walk around now. Go over some. Oh, so the boat's over on a lane. I'd have to turn it. Get over there. Look at that. It just keeps wanting to go on that side. Like I would with 400 kilo on one side. You know, and I, I could swing the boat. That, if you didn't have swi trim tabs, and this isn't just on this boat, it's on any boat. And I'll turn around. I've got them on that side. I'd hate to turn if they were on the other side. Now, watch this. Watch this, because what I'm going to do is I'll drive along, stay on that side, fellas. Look, and we're cocked over. Can you see that, how it's leaning over, Dan? Wait, talk to me. Cracked it again. Now, I push the button. I'm not touching nothing. Can you see that? And it's just leveled out beautiful. Now I'm going to flat out, because I wanted to. Look at that. Look how quick. I'd have that thing. I always have them on quick roll. Have a look at this. That's unreal, isn't it? Hopefully you saw it in that drone, but one thing that I really want to stress, when I was doing hard turns with the zip weights in auto, what happened was there was physically less strain on my body. The boat was sitting flatter, 
going around in the same turn. But somehow I didn't feel like the, the G-force or something. The other thing that I noticed were, uh, with the, the trim tabs on, people like you weren't holding on as heavy. Now, Jeff, am I just imagining that or what, what is that all about? Well, the idea of zip weight helping with your cornering is that if you're very sharp, you can feel yourself falling into the water almost around a corner. It'll provide lift to lift you out of that and actually negate a lot of the G-forces on the body. Same thing if you're very flat through a corner. It'll tilt you in. Again, you've got a lot of lateral forces pushing you out this time if you're yep. very flat. It'll tilt you in, make it a lot more comfortable to the point where, like you saw in that footage, I was holding on the outside with the system off, holding on, moving around, turn the system on, and it's almost like I could stand there with my hands by my side. It makes it a lot more comfortable cornering. It's unreal. This, is, this might be a safety device. Maybe all big boats. Well, actually, I'll probably never own a big boat that doesn't have zip weights on it. Because I do think that every large boat, you know, six, a lot of six metre boats don't need them. They just don't. But I tell you, when you get a lot of people, a lot of weight, bigger boat, they all benefit from having trim tabs. And what I believe, and I believe we can show, and I think they're the easiest, they're the smartest, is that zip weights are the best trim tab you can buy. So thank you very much for coming out and telling us about it, Jeff. Oh, thanks for having Thank me. you, Darren. Thank you. He's Darren got paid for doing nothing as far as I'm concerned, and Dan, I don't know why he doesn't pay me. But anyway, if you're thinking about buying a boat, do me a favour, call the team. I've got a yard on the south side, Brisbane Quinn Tracks. Look that. I haven't wore a shirt, just to remember. Call them, awesome, opposite the Hyperdome, or come and see Brisbane Yamaha. You know, we're famous for a reason. Best service, best prices, just unbeatable. And I'll see you on the water.